welcome to Piccadilly Circus at the heart of London and the world premiere of the film King of the Sand. The film depicts the bloody history of the Saudi Arabian Kingdom. And after the screening, we will have the chance to speak to the key people involved in the project. With this sword and this holy Quran, you will gain back your grandfather's reign of Nash. The film was written and directed by famous Syrian director Najdad Ansur, whose reputation rests primarily on the production of epic TV series about important episodes in Islamic and Middle Eastern history. Besides being the son of one of Syria's pioneers in Arabian cinema, Ismail Ansur, Najdad is also known for controversial political topics in which King of the Sands falls into. Indeed, it has been so controversial that much has been done and there has been some success in preventing its release. Although roughly a year later than planned, the film has now had its rightful distribution to the big screen, and among the flowing champagne and celebration after the screening, we got to speak to some of the stars and get a few words in with Najda Dansour himself. My impression tonight was very good, and uh, everybody happy. So we go forward now. We will release the film everywhere in the world, so I hope we will succeed. Tell us about the difficulties with releasing it. Why has it been so hard to release it? Well, uh, hard because it's a controversial film. It's not a, uh, you know, uh, it's not a commercial film. So we have some, we face some problems. But I'm sure with, uh, with your support and with uh, all the media support, we will succeed in the end. How was it working with such a diverse cast from, you know, Italy and Britain? Yeah, it's easy for me because I work with, always with the uh, foreigner actors and so, so not, this is not the first time. And then everybody came, loved the story and loved to, to introduce himself in, in a different character. So, so everybody was happy and the result was very good. Are you uh, happy that your dad directed you towards direction and not engineering? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm happy because I, I'm working in my hobby, you know, so this is it. So it's better than being an engineer then? Thank you. It's very far, but it's good. What do you hope people will, people that watch this film? Everywhere, I'm sure, especially Arab world. What do you hope that they will bring with them? What, what will they be affected by? This is, let's say, we start, you know, the, the, the whole wall will start going down one by one. And this is the first stone, let's say. The film paints Abdulaziz Al Saud as quite the violent character, roaming the desert with his rebels, a forceful conqueror of both land and human beings. Portraying him is Italian actor Marco Foschi, with British actor Bill Fellows portraying his advisor and British Secret Service agent John Philby. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed the film. It was interesting. Interesting. Have you not seen it before? No, I've never seen it before, and some of the script I hadn't seen either. Oh, wow! Yeah, so some of it was, it was new to me. Uh, I thought it was beautifully filmed. That was excellent. Uh, I, I mean, there was lots of stuff I probably didn't understand, not being from that right, that, that world. But uh, I thought he got some of it across beautifully. Where did you film it? Uh, we filmed it all over the place. It was Lebanon and uh, Italy and a bit in uh, Syria as well. Yeah. How did you find it working with uh, such a diverse team? Oh, fantastic! I absolutely loved it. It was a dream. I mean, I love traveling. I love working with international people if I can. So for me, it was an exotic experience, which I wish I would, could do every year. You know, just fantastic. I mean, you don't often get a chance to dress up in, in the Gossi Arab uh, dress and with the horses and all. You know what I mean? It's, it's a rare for an English actor to be involved in something like that. I mean, I know a few, uh, but not many. So for me, for me, it was a quite a departure from what I normally do, really. So it was quite nice. It was fantastic. It was spectacular. I mean, some of the sunsets of the desert, it was cold. It wasn't warm. Um, it was... was it was a th it was a thrill. I mean, as an actor, you want a, a new experiences, and you want and you know you want to dress up <laughs> and then live this kind of world. I mean, I, as a as a kid, I watched Lawrence of Arabia, 
I mean, this is the nearest thing I'm ever going to get to betray that, but that's still fantastic. I, I mean, I thought it was absolutely beautifully filmed. As for the controversy, I don't know about that. Well, I don't know how accurate it was. Let, let's see what uh, reaction they get. I, I think it's got this mad energy, which, which, which I think you need to have. But I think he's a very brave, he's brave, isn't he? He's a brave director. And, uh, and, and we, the, the only fun, no, it wasn't fun, but in the end I gave up because he constantly would call me John. I forgot my name was Bill. John, John, John. And even now he rings me up, John. And I say, oh, hello. You know, I've given up asking to call me Bill, you know. Um, but no, I'd work with him uh, tomorrow if he asked me. And that's all an actor can give a praise to the director saying, would you work with the director again? Absolutely, I would. Yeah. So fingers crossed he does. And what's next for you? Um, but I'm doing the thing called uh, The New World, which I'm working on at the moment, which is set in 1680. And it's, uh, it's, um, uh, our, it's our British history about our revolution when, when Cromwell died and they brought the king back. And this, it's all, so it's all about our bloodthirsty fighting for power, for parliament. So that's why I said as a British actor, you don't see the controversy because we're used to showing how ruthless people were to get power and what they had to do and murder each other. I hope people just realise it's not against him, that Saudi Arabia particularly. I think it's just the way of the world as human beings. That's what I, I think anyway. You know. I'm not saying it's a great thing, I'm just saying it's the way it is. You know. I want you to accept a convert to Islam, even in the name only, without practice. Sir, I am ready for Islam. First time I saw the film, so I was impressed. It's a tough movie, you know, strong and I don't know. I like it. I like it. Tell me how you got involved in this project. Because uh, uh, the director Nashdat, uh, Mr. Anzur, called me. I don't know why. You have to ask him. <laughs> how can I decide? Because of the story, because of the director, because mm, Mr. Anzur is a great director. So. Yeah. Uh, so I decided to accept, even if it could be a little bit danger. What do you mean by that? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm joking. But you know, it's uh, it's a point of view really strong. So about uh, now the Saudi Arabia. So we're gonna say was interested uh, about the story. You know, uh, to play this kind of character. So so deep, so strong, so bad at the same time, you know? I mean, I'm talking about Abdulaziz. So it was uh, something like a challenge, you know, to do. He is a good omen, and God supported him to conquer Riyadh in order to relieve all Muslims from the tyranny of al-Rashid. We pay homage abiding by the laws of God and his messenger. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Assisting Najda with the writing and involved in the production as a whole was high-profile Syrian writer, filmmaker and producer Hala Diab. You should be happy. By the law of God, I choose you to be mine. I am Abdulaziz Al Saud, Sultan of Najd. Mr. Najdat started on this since um, two years, but it was uh, it was difficult to release it because of the pressure he had. He had he, he actually received a lot of death threat, and um, and and I think that. Um, uh, this is the, the moral responsibility of us as artists to have the courage, and I call it the moral courage, to uh, challenge these stereotypes, to deter this uh, uh, ideology that is becoming part uh, of, of today's life. I hope that people have the courage to uh, not allow uh, religion to be a barrier in their life or to an excuse to violate other people's life or to kill people. And I think this film enlightening people about, about this, this uh, point and I hope that there will be a lot of works like King of the Sands that highlight these points with, with, with courage and with confidence. <laughs> He conquered Riyadh with 60 of his men. He also slew Ben Ajlan. 
Abdelaziz has God on his side. He came to Najd with the slogan of monotheism. It is the same slogan of our blessed Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Wahab al Tamimi. Muslims are obliged to stand by his side. It is your obligation. King of the Sands, an epic story about the rise of a kingdom.